Yeah. Nah, I man. You know we gotta do a joint for the ladies, right? So every club worldwide, we gon' move y'all like this. Come on. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Get ready, everybody. All right, you guys, get ready for that hot pick. That hot picks. Mm. Yay! Okay, you guys, I'm gonna give a, I'm not gonna cover all, you know, the Grammy. You guys seen it already. Okay, here we are, the last segment before we get out of this Monday. I want to give a lot of props to the people who are speaking to me in a foreign language. They're right, they're right there so you guys can see this. They're saying thumbs up, but they may be cussing me out because they know I don't speak the language, but that's okay. All right. All right, hot picks. Going to do a quick, what I call quick reference to the Grammys last night because I thought, you know, it was a different message. And the reason why it was a different message is because of the climate we're under. And so the one thing that I was looking forward to is, are you going to see these outlandish outfits? You know, that's the whole thing. But it seems like they're getting more conservative, more conservative and more conservative. And so hence, I decided to go, well, let me pick the pick. So I'm going to give you three real quick just to say, hey, look, you need to check out. This is the style that was being featured, not out of the box. So if I go here and say, like, here, look at Haley Steinfeld, Janelle Monet and SZA, who put it down on her, uh, oh man, all I can say, the clock is working, and she'll know what I mean, if she ever sees this. Nice outfits, nothing out of the ordinary, Mario, I mean, this is not out of the box from you, seem far outlandish, or what they call outside the curve, so to speak, right? This is conservative, right? Well, <laughs> watch this. usually it's a, it's a show where people tend to do exotic things. Yes. Rihanna. But they did. Rihanna, the other folks they historically. Did. Rihanna so did. Now, because the issue being women's rights, I think there tends to be they don't have a little to. bit more, like you said, a little more conservative air. Right. Because the focus is on empowering women. Yes. And so women 
that, and, some, and sometimes that collides with embracing women as objects of beauty. Right. So in this instance, people are wanting to, you know. They, they're, they're towing the line that the message yeah. is bigger than the display itself. Yeah. And I understand that. But still, there's always somebody who says, look, I want to just still show you style. So I picked my winner as it relates to that red carpet moment. And as somebody Mario listens to all the time, he loves her music. Ashante, she did a wonderful piece that basically was saying, I'm about to bring it in a different look. I mean, we're talking about an that out. That nipple I see when he's <laughs> that? Mario, why don't you look at the, the real the dress from head to toe? I'm trying to see the shoes. Okay, look at the dress head to toe. Now, I, some, I think it's nipple. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think it is nipple. Wait a yes, minute. Everybody. Wait a minute. That's nipple there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just say I like the hair. Okay. Okay. I like the hair. <laughs> right. So, so the little butt prop, the little outfit that looks good. It's hard to ride in a car with this. But I, but I feel you. I be, first of all, she didn't dress in before she got there. You know, she waited until she got there, so there would be no wrinkles. Will be nothing. She made sure that couple. once it's on that all she had to do was walk. And I'm saying, there are a lot of shots of this, and I think she, okay, she wins as it relates to stimulating the market. And the market is, she clearly was saying, the, from the waist on up, you guys are just going to see what you're going to see, right? So she ain't trying to hide that fact. But from the waist down, she says, I'm still classy. So is this a meeting of halfway points? When you get the nipples in it, then you know you're at least getting something yeah. out of it. Did it win? And when I say that, did she... I think it's a nice looking dress. I think, uh, let me say this. I think at a different time, she could have got the attention warranted in a way. But at this time, the subject matter of the Grammys and the theme takes away from her spotlight moment. Because you really don't see nobody talking about it. And that may be because not being nominated for probably any songs, but that never has been a requirement for what they call out-of-the-box outfit. So I just want to give my winner, if nobody else thinks so, for that night. That's my Grammy moment, you guys. Now, let's get to the real case at hand. The show, star, television series, a trio of women from a musical group, form a musical group in Atlanta. And the signature group of actresses are more than just pretty faces. Now, when we get, when we get into this, what Mario will be able to have the advantage, and maybe some of you, if you go to packstereo.tv and go to the, the link, you'll see that there are categories here, and Mario's going to see as we go down which one is appropriately belonging to that particular actress. So at the top here, I got songwriter for the girl music group Fifth Harmony, performed at the White House and Kennedy Center, won a singing contest to attend the red carpet premiere of Justin Bieber's Never Say Never. Her first recorded vocal single, ha, single has over 10 million views at YouTube. Award-winning American actor, filmmaker, executive producer, and director. Based on what we're about to go through, let's see if Mario can match the line with the actress. We all know they're playing with power. You ready for this, man? I'm ready. All right, let's go to the first one. Oh, simply, simply put, Judge Judd DeMorris as Star Davis. The key figure in the show. Demore started her career in minor parts as an extra and background dancer in multiple shows and films prior to getting a shot in the 2009 short history of Made Up Things. She had a recurring role in the Dallas and on Dallas where her character was killed off. During the summer of 2016, writer, director, and executive producer Lee Daniels held a nationwide search for Fox Girl Group series. Star debuted in that and had to do 10, I think it was 10 demos before she can get the part. Not one, not two, 10. So she, she's cracking. So Mario, with that being said, you can, look, you, you can wait until we hit all of them and match them, okay? You don't have to go back and forth. So we're just going to go there and you're going to match them as we go along. So just keep your perspective right now. Let's go fine, to the, fine, fine. Oh, okay, let's go to the next one. Brittany O'Grady. Brittany O'Grady plays Simone. Brittany has been cast with several Washington area theaters, including the Tony Award winning Signature Theater, Historic Forest Theater, critically acclaimed movement based Synaptic 
Theater, the Little Theater of Alexandria, and Encore Stage and Studio. Basically, this woman, her commercial work includes national and regional ad campaigns, PSAs, and the face of the National Food Stamp Program. Brittany has also appeared as the spokesman for an internet campaign in America's Most Wanted reenactment and numerous industrial projects. You so pretty, the pretty face is uh, giving you something different, Mar. You so far impressed, or are you going not enough yet? I'm impressed. You're, okay, all right. She's gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely. And look, the show, you know, sometimes. Absolutely it, gorgeous. It, Mar's already signing off, number two. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Let's go to the next one. Oh, yeah. With a name like this, you tend to say, welcome. Ryan Destiny as Alexandria or Alexandra Crane. She appeared in several episodes of the Detroit-based crime drama Low Winter Sun. Destiny later appeared as the lead in the independent film A Girl a, a Girl Like Grace opposite Garzelle Beauvoir, or Beauvoir and Raven Simone. The Ty Hodges produced film premiered at the LA Film Festival in 2015. She basically uh, initially booked the side of Tiana on Lee Daniels' hit musical drama Empire, but due to her contract with all of with all death music, she could not accept the role. Imagine. That's one of those stories, dude, where you sit there and go, I had the role, sold up for Empire. Man, but I had that record deal over here. Which right now makes it's a damn shame. <laughs> <laughs> right, so far. Damn shit. Damn, okay. Now, I'm about to kill this name. Let me go to the next right now. I'm just going to say Charlene. It may be Tule, Tula, Tul, Telu. I have no idea. I'm killing it. She plays Eva. And she appeared in the musicals Evita, Les Miserables, Fiddler on the Roof, Hairspray, Cinderella, and the theater production of The Graduate. And if everybody... Want to go back and know what the graduate is? Just go do your research. So that tells me that she she's applying herself where there has been content that's historically uh, iconic for its time. So more to it. She studied singing the Mary uh, Maria and Nadia Nicola and Rimola. Studied with Maria Rimola and Nadia Nicola and performed in New York at the Lee Strasberg Theater and Film Institute. So far, so good. Mario's, he's cool. We ain't gonna get his input yet. <laughs> Go he's wait. Pretty, very pretty. You know, I figured you, I kind of know when Mario gets swinging on that swing. <laughs> Let's go to the next. The next, the last. This is the one. Jasmine Burke as Danielle. She, Jasmine Burke, has been full steam ahead, making notable appearance in The Secret Life of Bees, Van Wilder, Vampire Diaries, Army Wives, and Ride Along, to name a few. Also starring in VH1's Drumline, a new beat, Bounce TV's record-breaking Saints and Sinners. On television, Jasmine has appeared in The Vampire Diaries, Drop Dead Diva, and Army Wives, as well as the VH1 film Drumline, which we just talked about. So here's my, here's my question, Mario. You're going to the top of the page. I want you to simply match the line with the lady because all of them are playing with power and are overachievers and this is only partial of their resume. So let's see if Mario can uh, match his favorite with the line because I think I know who his favorite is. So you want to take the, want to see the top? I have to judge by what you presented me though. Well, no, look at the top above, above her. The, the, each line item was right above this picture. You get to choose the line items a little bit more. Right there. Those are each line belongs to each young lady. <laughs> and you can match who you think belongs to that line. And the answers for you guys, I can't tell Mario, are at the bottom of the page when we send out this content for publication. Hard to match them up together, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. Let's see if you can do it, man. Because you know it's in a dream. And you can take your time. I want him to thank you guys. Songwriter for the girl group, Fifth Harmony. Look at them. <laughs> Fifth Harmony? <laughs> you could just say the name and the line. Doesn't matter. Okay, I, okay I'll say. Man, this is hard. I know. It's going to be. It, it, it's only five. It's not, it's not Ashanti right now. No. Okay, so songwriter for the girl group, girl music group, Fifth Harmony. Performed at the White House and Kennedy Center. 
Okay, so songwriter, mm -hmm. award-winning American actor, filmmaker, executive producer. I say award-winning American actor, filmmaker, Jude DeMorris. Wrong. Okay. <laughs> I would say her first recorded vocal singles over 10 million views at YouTube. I would say Brittany O'Grady. Eh. <laughs> It's okay, I know. it's okay, Rich. It's okay, Won a singing contest at 10, the red carpet. Justin Bieber. Ryan Destiny. Bang, ding, 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 ding. Good, man, you got one. You're doing it. You're doing it. Her first recorded vocal single is over 10 million views on YouTube. Charlene Talley. Bingo. Got two. Two out of two. You're doing good. Cause you, 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 you're doing good, man. Award-winning American actor, filmmaker, executive producer, Jasmine Burke. Bam! Doing good. You're on the streak, bro. Three. That's it. Yeah, that's it. So you really, you did good. You got... That was just purely guessing. Right, but it, it only, it, it proves the point. It was easy for me to sit back and give you all the information and their profile. You would have known. But what blew me away, I was blown away by Jasmine Burke. Because when you go look at her, her, her background, okay... She's going to be terribly successful. I mean, when I say terribly successful, just go look at her Wikipedia, go look at her journey. She's, she's taking names and numbers only if you support her. So, hey, I just wanted to give props out to them. Ladies, women, this is your year, recognizing more than just a pretty face and a body. Mario, if you look at Jasmine Burke and say, look, I got it right. But if you had to wish which one had all the executive power, who would that be? And I'm picking, I think I already know which one you would pick. Filmmaker, executive producer, director, who would you wish for? I'm what? not understanding. Yeah, you know, I just say another one. How you... am I supposed to wish for if I'm wishing them were fine? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, if you was hoping. They're bad. These are some bad ladies. Who would you hope for? I'm too old. <laughs> You're not supposed to think of it that way. I'm comfortable You're not now. supposed to think about that way. You're supposed I'm to be going. A nice woman. <laughs> To think about it. They all. I think it's good to see. No, I think Jasmine is as good as they come. For yeah, Jasmine's got it. I have to admit. Yeah, I think yeah. she's as good as they come. They're you, all amazing women. They are. And all amazing. All women. of them. And look, this is they're hot, so we don't have to worry about rating them. I just now know that I'm convinced now, when what people have done to get themselves uh, in entertainment, vis-a-vis -vis acting or whatever, how much work you have to do before you get there. Hey, that's Hot Picks, man. I'm out. Hot Picks. Yay. Yeah. Nah, man. I mean, you know we got to do a joint for the ladies, right? right. So every club worldwide, worldwide. we're going to move y'all like move. this. Come on. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Girl. It's Friday night when the club lines be out the door. Watch the silly.